Welcome to Call Face 52 Transformer Review. Today we have the Transformers Legacy United Autobots Stand United 5 Pack. We have the Autobot Jazz, Sunstreaker, Trailbreaker, Wheeljack, and finally we have a Transformers Earthrise Autobot Hound. We are going to answer this question sooner or later, but is Autobot Hound worth $115 shit? Here is the package. A nice Generations Select style box. And we open it up. And there they are. It is so long. We can't fit it all in. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> so we have Jazz, Sunstreaker, Trailbreaker, Wheeljack, and Autobot Hound. So we have this insert. And then we have underneath, we have instructions, and mine are already mangled from when this thing was assembled. In the, and then the, the recycled paper. First things first, uh, there is nothing adhered to the back. Just the straps and figures poking through. Uh, there is no burritos. All accessories are fastened to the cardboard, the same as the figures. So let's go ahead and get them all out. display out of the package and fully armed up so of course we've seen all these bolts before but now let's do some uh, comparisons all right here is Autobot Jazz coming with a blaster that is white and then painted silver everywhere but the handle Jazz has no clear plastic, and he has a 14 on the door. That's it. The nice Autobot symbol on the front. Looks like he has gray legs. Now, compare him to the 86 Studio Series, which we basically... You know, let me know in the comments if you did not put the 86 Studio Series Jazz in with your Earthrise collection. I mean, he might as well have been an Earthrise release. Why they did it that way, I don't know, man. Brand distribution. Who the hell knows? But did you notice his blaster is the same blaster, and it is molded in white and painted silver, but... Elder Jazz here's had too much to drink. But you notice the five millies on the side are not painted, where they are painted on the new version. Autobot symbol is smaller and has a white background, where the new one is just a larger red paint app. He does have a longer blue stripe up onto the head flap. And of course he has silver legs instead of gray legs and feet. And it looks like the blue here on the hips are, are uh, 
slightly different color that kind of matched the windows and on the oh my god that's so blurry blurry okay there's that so that has that paint there paint app on the back wheel where the studio series does not and then he has so he does have while slightly different paint apps he actually has more paint apps the the face is not well lit at all there we go so silver face versus gray face so he's got he's got a bit of a gray face on the new one where yeah there's more of a silver paint job there and the eyes are a different blue as well so there is Jazz, basically the same thing, just with slightly different paint apps. Alright, so the biggest complaint about Earthrise Sunstreaker uh, is debatable. It's either that he only came with his hair dryer, or that the yellows didn't match up. Here on this new release, we actually have an extra blaster. I think this uh, same blaster comes with another figure, but I can't remember without looking on the you know who this one originally came with put it down in the comments so sunstreaker here is, this new one's a little little more golden than yellow but he is solid all the way through as far as i can tell it's there's no color dysphoria going on there and of course all solid plastic no train no no transparent plastic um like on uh here otherwise he looks like he has the same autobot symbol though it doesn't show up as it's not as sharp on on the new release than on the earthrise and he seems to have a silver painted forearm instead of the yellow painted forearm which i think the yellow painted forearm was a big contributor to the color mismatch so they've got around that by just painting it silver, I guess. Hey, whatever works. Um, slightly different lines on the paint apps, but essentially the same paint apps. Uh, he's got a little bit more. So yeah, he, he does have a, have a slightly bit more paint app going on. But he doesn't have, doesn't have the translucent plastic, so... They're, they're probably cost saving there a little bit. Uh, but yeah, a uh, little bit more paint app and an extra blaster. So, so, so far he's, he's a little bit, a little bit ahead of the game there. Next up is Trail Breaker. Like uh, everyone else before him, uh, there is no translucent or clear plastic. He does have slightly different paint apps. But I think the overall quality of paint apps is the same. So it looks like the hand blaster is is uh, was molded in a gray instead of a black. Um, and actually, he overall is grayer tone versus black. So the the hand the 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 hand attachment whatever this is called uh, is cast in the same color as the body but then uh they've given it a little bit more they've given a lighter gray paint app here in addition to a matte silver versus chrome silver there so yeah he's all matte versus uh versus the um shiny silver Oh, good lord, I'm sorry about this. This is, this is all out of focus. Um, can't get that to focus right. Uh, he even has translucent headlights on, on the Earthrise. Where this is just silver paint. Uh, the Autobot symbol is 
a it's the same size, but it's it's a almost looks like a white decal where this is just a straight red symbol on on there. There's no uh, white background there. Uh, yeah, so far everything is is the same same identical mold. It's just a repaint or a recolor. No, uh, nothing. Nothing different other than other than the color and the paint apps are and even the paint apps aren't that dramatically different. So nothing really to write home to mom about. So there is Trailbreaker. Alright. The last time I pit Wheel Jack against himself, uh it still remains my uh, most successful full-length video to date. Go ahead and check that thing out. And uh, well, here they are. And uh, I honestly, I kind of, kind of want to not compare this right here, right now. Um, maybe, maybe we'll just have them staring at each other menacingly. Let me know in the comments if, if uh, we need to have a triple threat match. Finally, the. Bot of the hour, Autobot Hound. And this is what we should have had with Earthrise. Well, sort of. As far as I'm concerned, this is Earthrise Hound. And here, uh, before that, we got a guy who probably who has an Autobot symbol on his arm, but a dis. Decepticon symbol on the back of his head. Uh, what is this? Deuteronomy? Deutocopity? De Decronus? Decronus? I don't know. I don't know what his name is, man. I didn't... Whatever, whatever media he was from, I didn't... Did not consume that, so... But, I don't know. I got him. Here he is. And this is, uh... This is exactly as we, we had hoped or expected. Um, a lot of people predicted... But we, we got this bowl, this paint first, and then so technically Hound is a repaint of this guy. But, yep, as you can see, he is exactly that, a repaint. Except, except he still doesn't have translucent windshield. This guy does. So why, I don't, this is on theme for the new, this... This is on theme for the new thing. So, yeah, so it makes, makes, it makes me wonder, are we going to get a Earthrise-style paint job with a translucent windshield now? Since they filled that in for this thing. So, and, of course, here is the hound we did get, our Siege Hound. Yeah, so, obviously, the, this mold is a heavy retool of this mold. Um, which I think I already did a whole thing. I don't know. If I did, it's up. It's right here. Um, if I didn't, I got raw footage somewhere. I don't know. But we'll, we'll find out later. So, yeah, this is kind of, um, so what did we get with this guy? Well, we got, we got the, the shoulder mounted missile launcher and then the hollow gun. We're getting the exact same things with with Hound, but Earthrise Hound, of course, came with the the missile launcher, but no missile. The the barrel, which we don't get that, and then this pretty and this awesome blaster, which both of these things were replaced by this thing. So yeah, I, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know what do you think. Uh, at the end of the day, is this hound worth the price point of the five pack? Because let's face it, we all already have the other figures. So that So that's what it comes down to, right? Uh, is what you already have in your collection and what your budget is. You know, so it's a decision. Can you, is it worth it to you to have a 
G1 hound represent representation in in modern uh, modern design modern design uh, yeah and that's weird he's got an Autobot symbol here but that that's it anyway uh, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't mess out on the uh, upcoming Earthrise Hound review where I'll finally be answering the question is this worth it until then home face out Let's leave that in, because that was fun.